hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is divine and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful dash dan shiki gown please watch to the end and please make sure to like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel into four because I'm cutting for both the front and the back piece so I just measured this and I have 18 inches and how to get 18 inches is by dividing your shoulder measurement into two and then adding your desired sleeve length that is how I got 17 and then I added one inch for sewing for folding my sleeve now I just drew a line and that is going to be our starting point and then we have a total length of 40 inches inches plus one inch for folding allowance now from the top part I just measure three inches and one and a half inch inches for my neckline the one and a half inches for the um, for my back neck line and that is what I'm just I'm just trying to create my back neckline And from there I measured 17 inches I'm just trying to make the lines more visible for you guys to see so I measured 17 inches and I came down by one and a half inches for our shoulder slope you can use one inch you can use one and a half but I use one and a half and I'm just going to connect it from from the three inch line I marked for my neck line I'm going to connect it all the way to the one and a half inch that I marked from the 17 inches I hope I hope it makes sense but yeah just watch closely and see what I am doing to understand what I'm doing so I just connected the line and that is going to be our shoulder slope and from there I measured nine inches down you can use eight you can use 8.5 depending on your size so I used nine inches So I'm just making a straight line um, on the 9 inches, I'm just creating my straight line and that is where our arm is going to pass through. So I just measured half an inch from the bottom part of the 9 inch because I want our sleeve to be a little bit slanted so I just measured half an inch and created another line there. Now from the um, from our line that we drew earlier, I measured 26 inches and that is going to be our hip line. You can measure yours to find out your hip line. I already measured the 26 inches. So, so from the new slanted line that we drew earlier, I went in by 2 inches and from there I went down by 2 inches again and I just connected the 2 inches that I made like so. And now I'm going to go over to my hip and from my hip I'll just take 3 inches out leaving us with 15 inches note that my hip is 40 inches divided by 4 it's going to be 10 so I have like 5 inches allowance on my hip area and then for the bottom part I I I have 13 and a half inches that is I subtracted one and a half inch from my hip measurements and now I'm just going to join the lines that I drew all together I'm just connecting everything together from my from my underarm to my hip and to my to the length of the dress i just connected everything of oh, making sure there are no sharp edges on my hip area now coming back to the top area i'm going to mark um 
my front neckline now the depth of my front neckline i'm going to be using three inches for the depth of my front neckline i also know that my front neckline is going to have a slit a five inch slit but i'm just first trying to connect my first my front neckline this is how i connected it together now i'm just going through it i remember i measured one and a half inch for my slope and then nine inches for my arm area and then two inches yeah one and a half inch for my slant and then two inches from this slant and two inches again and then i connected it like so so we also went down by 26 inches for my hip and then from the hip i took out three inches and and four and a half inches from the, for the from the bottom part <laughs> oof so um marking half inch on the on the top part that is for the joining allowance i'm marking half an inch on the slanted part i'm just marking half an inch all through so that when we join our um our front and our back we will not be short of any fabric that is why i added half an inch and i'm just connecting the half an inch all together like so And then I'm just cutting it I'm just cutting after marking the half an inch at the top I'm just cutting it and I'm going to cut for the back fabric I'm going to cut for the back side first remember I always cut the back side first and then I changed my mind and measured one inch instead of the earlier one and a half inch that I measured I go I took it I took out one inch instead of one and a half inches i changed my mind on that so i'm just going to cut out the one inch for the back my back neckline not to always cut the your back first don't cut the, the front neckline first now on the sleeve i just added one inch for folding for our folding allowance that is what i am adding here one inch for the folding allowance and then I'm just cutting it out like so and then I, I'm cutting on the slanted line that we measured earlier now this is what we have after cutting out after cutting our fabric this is what we have and I just removed the back neck the back side of the dress and we have the front here so I'm going to cut out the front neckline remember i measured three inches for the depth of our front neckline so i'm just cutting the three inches like so and then i'm going to measure five inches because uh, this dress is not going to have any zip so i need to have a very big space where my head can fit in so the dress can fit in perfectly so i just cut out a slit of five inches and now I'm going to cut the pocket for this beautiful Dan Shiki dress. I'm marking out six inches first because you need enough space where, so your hand can fit into your pocket. So I marked out six inches and then I placed my palm on it and just making um like a circle not really a circle but you can see what i am doing and i'm going to cut it i'm going to have four of these two for each size but i have two here so you can just fold your fabric by four into four and cut or you can do this and then use one piece to cut out another two so yeah that's what we have for the pocket now for the neckline i folded a piece of clothes into two and then placed this is our back neckline i placed it on it the the, the two folded parts you know facing each other like on top of each other and then i'm just tracing out my back neckline on it 
and this is what we have so I'm, go I'm just going to measure three inches all around the piece of um, of fabric I'm just going to measure three inches and then I'm just going to connect it and cut out and this is going to be um, for folding our back neckline you can use a bias tape if you want if you don't want to go through this you can just use a bias tape and bias your neckline now this is for the this is for the front neckline remember that we have a slit on our front neckline so I'm just placing it also like so and I'm just going to trace it out make sure it is well placed as you can see in this video place it perfectly and then trace out so I'm tracing out my front neckline and then don't forget your five our five inches that we use for our slit. so I'm just going to measure that five inches on the fabric and then I'm going to measure three inches again on the fabric and then I'm going to measure three inches here also and then just connect everything together and cut Please ask me a question if you don't understand anything in the comment section. You can ask me your questions. So I'm cutting the five inches slit, and then I'm going to place it on top of my front fabric. How about my front? Yeah, this is how we place it right side facing right side, and then I'm just going to my sewing, going to my sewing machine and sew it all in and then fold it over now i've done that for both the front and the back neckline and this is what we are having for our neckline then you can also go ahead and top stitch it and then iron it perfectly to stay in shape so i've joined this side of our dress i've also folded the um the sleeve but i'm going to show you how to do that on the other side of our dress now first thing you want to do is to fold the sleeve now remember we we left half an m um, one inch for our sleeve folding then after joining both the back and the front fabric, we're going to fold it in by half an inch and fold it in by another half an inch making it a total of one inch i'm gonna sew it all through And then to place our pocket, I measured 18 inches because I wanted to, I wanted it to be in my waist area. So I measured 18 inches. You can measure yourself to know where you want your pocket to be placed. So I measured 18 inches, and that's where I'm going to place my pocket. So I'm going to place my pocket like so, right side facing right side. I'll place it like so, and then go to my sewing machine and just stitch it at the top and then i'm going to measure the same thing on the other side so i just pinned my pockets on it so you see how it is look how it is going to look after sewing it and after you must have folded your sleeve you're going to take you're going to go ahead and take in half an inch all through then we're going to sew around our pockets and continue sewing by half an inch all the way down like we did for the other side half an inch sewed around the pockets and then continued half an inch all the way down to our dress now after doing that we are going to go ahead and hem the bottom parts of our dress this is what our pocket is looking like so we're going to go over and hem the down parts remember we, we left one inch for the folding of our down part so we're going to just fold it folding 
half an inch and folding again so at this bottom part i found out that i wanted this gown to be shorter so i think i folded in by two inches now this is what our dress is looking like all fine all pretty all nice thank you so much for staying tuned and watching to the end of this video please make sure to like comment share and please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much and see you in my next video